Everybody, please, please get some coffee and calm down. But I think that we really better go into prayer mode. We better really go into prayer mode. Hurricane Irma, Florida. Florida, I think this is the big one. I think this is the big one. And it's the second major hurricane that's going to hit the United States since that total solar eclipse. Only eight. 17, and we're only 17 days out of a 40 days of repentance. And here comes the big one toward the Florida, the southeast coast where so many people live, where there's millions of people running out of gas, they're running out of water. It's just unbelievable. And even some of the reports now say that Irma... Uh, may be the big one, it, absolutely, and, and uh, so I'm pleading the blood of Christ over all of our brothers and sisters in Christ there, literally praying, seeking the face of God for every one of you. Reports, though, say they call it that, the big one, a mythic, massive hurricane that would obliviate the densely populated southeast coast, and it has long been the stuff of Florida nightmares to be honest with you folks Irma it appears could be it now he could still turn and I'm praying and I need some prayer warriors praying I need some folks believe in God with us please and pray because the storm has triggered near panic in a region of more than six million people that includes Miami Fort Lauderdale West Palm Beach Hollywood and that entire area clustered along this narrow ribbon of coastline that has seen nearly double-digit population growth over the past five years. Isabella Van Vuren just arrived. She left her home in South Africa two weeks ago to start a job as a stewardess on a yacht, and um, she and other crew members have spent time securing it as Irma approaches, she's trying to decide whether to stay or go. I'm terrified, she said. I'm not used to this. I just want to go into a cave and hide. Uh, basically, this is not a nice feeling. And uh, But veterans of the uh, life in the sun, sunshine state, hurricanes are part of the Floridian life. And they understand that. It's just as, it's just as real as... The Orange Groves or Mickey Mouse at Disney World. It's uh, every hurricane season brings with it a chance of cataclysmic events. But folks, back in 1928, a hurricane caused Lake Okeechobee to burst its banks, unleashing 20-foot wall of water that killed over 2,500 people. The event was a key part of... Uh, uh, the the uh, classic 1937 novel that was written called "The Eyes." Their eyes were watching God. Well, folks, let me just say, I'm I'm just I know this is huge. Irma is huge, but we don't know which way it's going to go. It still could turn sharply right. It still could. It's still, I can say, South Florida is going to get drenched if that happens. But maybe escape the eye of the storm. But if it turns slightly left again, then we're talking about a storm of biblical proportion and it would hit over on the west side, rip through the Florida Keys, hit over on the west side and do damage to Naples and, and Fort Myers and that whole area there. And then, and then once it did it, it would swing back and rip across. So that's not a good scenario. The best scenario is if it takes a sharp, very sharp right, and it needs to do it now. It needs to do it right now. Uh, so a lot of prayers going out. Florida, this could be the big one. Florida, this is the big one. Let's just get it to go another direction. Let's just turn it another direction. Well, we put it in the hands of God. For the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, but blessed be the name of the Lord. We put it in the hands of God. Now, my sister lives down there praying for her and my niece. Um, and we're praying for everybody up all the way up the east.
coast of Florida there. I mean, all the way up there, all the way to uh, Orlando and, and on up there. Okay. We have so many uh, members of our online church that live down in Florida. So our prayers are with you. They are with you. We are believing God and we are praying and we're pleading the blood of Jesus over all of you and your families, your homes, your businesses, your careers, your livelihood, everything. I will talk about this tonight. We will get you an update. We'll show you the latest information on what's happening in our live broadcast tonight. Primetime Live starts at 10 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. We've also had a 6.1 earthquake that has hit Japan, and it was directly caused by a another X flare a uh, solar flare, another X class exploding on the sun. And I thought we're in a solar minimum. Then how can we be having all of this massive explosions? Is planet X got anything to do with this? Are the heavens shaking? Is this a prophecy alert? Apocalypse is upon us. Are you saved? 